Welcome to the ULI Podcast, the podcast where the goal is for me to get all my money back from Mori. I'm Brian. <laughs> it's Chris. Mori. And I said Mori. <laughs> and <laughs> once again, we back. Ready to kick that shit? Each ready to get called out if need be and man up. All right, we got the shots. We got the $10 cash app. We got the push-ups. You feel me? And we ready to go. I don't think we need nothing else. Let's hop in. Saw online that uh, 19 families in Georgia purchased about 97 acres of land. You know, unrenovated, you know, just acres, empty lot type stuff. Acres, 97 of them. Not acres. And uh, they're going to build a, a little community on it called Freedom Land. All right, so they're going to get together and they're going to bring some black, four black families, but not exclusive to. Uh, so they're going to provide an entire small town, dozens of homes and buildings, uh, prime, uh, prime for real estate. They're going to open up little businesses, uh, c- uh, commercial businesses. Uh, all kind of stuff. So what I, what I initially thought was they're going to have like their own police force and stuff, which I don't see in this particular article. So maybe I was too hopeful. But yeah, they're going to set up a whole little thing. They're saying they got sick of seeing uh, in the streets, you know, black people getting murdered and they thought they needed a safe haven uh, so for their trying families. trying to start a municipality? Like... Municipality? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like they're trying to... They're trying to get their own area. Coach. They're trying to have their own... <laughs> They own little community. What y'all think about that? Crazy, but we need. I think it's a, a reach. I would I would lean towards the word separatist a little bit, just a little bit. Like I would want the that to be emphasized in the community that I'm already in. I wouldn't want to, but at the same time, it's not a bad idea to like create a strong place for yeah for black people. Like that's not a bad idea. So it's. It's not all the way separatist because it's not like they saying it's not all the way. So I just 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 a little bit. I, it's I, I will know. say, it but is, that that could be anything. They though, want you know. they want they want a secure spot. So anywhere that we move into now, we gonna have to vet, right? Like, do I feel comfortable here? Is anybody gonna be looking at me crazy? Idea. So this is something that I would think they tried to build to eliminate that, which I can't. I don't. I, don't, I, don't I mean, that. if you're trying to do it legitimately and you end up with like your own like police force and all of that stuff and. That's where my mind went, which I would like to see. I would really like to see that. The like whole black, uh, self-sufficient, black like whole, they said the next phase will be farmers. Mm-hmm. So they want to get, uh, they want to have actual local farmers where they will produce their own <laughs> produce and their own food for their community. Mm-hmm. For the 19 families that they got there. I would assume the next step after that got to be schooling, right? Like we want to have our own schools in this area for our 19 families. take a lot families. of money. It's going to yeah. take a lot of dedication too from dedication. each one. Each person in his family is going to have to contribute you know, it can't be just somebody out here raising their own kids. Like, no, you're going to have to come out here and be the pharmacist or, mm-hmm. or something, right? Like, and I think that's I, what we need. Man. I was about to say, that's how, that's how people, that's how humans are supposed to be. Like, like in the way that we've set up, like, if you don't have a, like an important job, like, you don't really care. Like, if this job's not important to you or there's not really any stakes to you, you don't care as the person you know working I mean? the job yeah like yeah like but when you're that per like you're the farmer here like, yeah you provide this like that's people are whole, depending that's on a whole you. different thing that's something that you work <laughs> it's pressure work man towards. yeah mm-hmm. yeah so that but that's a normal thing that's how i think everything is supposed to be that's how all these up like and, and all these other immigrants that come over here they yeah. set up shop like that yeah little, little chinatown you don't see nobody but china but china's chinese people owning them businesses in that, that community that they're their doctors. They're their chiropractors. They're their car wash people. Like that's how they get down. And you can spend your money with us, but we ain't going to spend our money with you. Like that's that's how that goes. Like that's you know. the same thing. Like Mercado Latino back home, <laughs> bro. I went there. And he swapped me. Really? God damn. Yeah, Mercado Blackino. <laughs> Blackino. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas in there swapping ribs for shoes. <laughs> 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 I need the like, How much did you yeah. choose? 25. I'll take the ribs. <laughs> Let me get a slap, brother. <laughs> I mean, it's basically Latino owned businesses in that spot, bro. Mm-hmm. They selling show, they clothes. Yeah. They're selling accessories. Everything in there, bro. Everything. 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 Every day, it, I, it's a swap meet. It's a swap meet. For that's sure. what it is. Yeah, one of the best places to get stuff. Get, to get yes, swap meet, and, and oh. you can haggle. <laughs> <laughs> best place to work on your package. You right skills. Though. <laughs> Fifty-five? Are you sure? I'm getting thirty. I got thirty on me for right real. now. <laughs> you can have this thirty. Like, that's, that's for you. Now, is this is, is this film like going to have their own governor, their own political system? They that's own... what I. That's why I said municipality. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think it's like that. that. From from that article, I gathered it's just 
we got nine, we got these acres that we can fill. We under the whatever county line they in, they yeah, still gotta yeah, follow yeah. all those codes and all that shit. But yeah. mm -hmm. at least you know when you step past this block to that block, I know who in here. Mm -hmm. I know we all got each other back. You know, mm -hmm. so I, I like that. And if they, from that they can grow. And like I said, they get the farmers in there and they can set up their own markers. That's one less thing you got to worry about is the food poison. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think, I think they can build a blueprint. Oh, yeah. We had blueprints before, though. This wouldn't be the first time. There's yeah. been places in New York that were Black Central where they gentrified, got people out of their houses, moved them out that area. Black Wall mm -hmm. Street where they dropped bombs, you know, Tulsa. Yeah. You know, like, mm -hmm. like, this wouldn't be the first time something like this has happened. We just have to mm -hmm. find a way to sustain it. Mm -hmm. it, sounds, it, sounds, it sounds good. Too good? It sounds I mean, good. It sounds how, good. How can a how can a black community pull off a little China? Like, what would that community look like? Would it be filled with all our stereotypes? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, <laughs> what would it look like? You know, you're walk. You immediately walk into got fish fry places on the corner. Little black, <laughs> little black yeah. America, or whatever yeah, they're yeah. calling it. Like, what does that look like? Like when you like, what is this? Nike like, outlets on the corner. <laughs> Sweet potato pie vendors, <laughs> like what do like what? sweet potato pie vendors? <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't know that know about this shit. Nobody else eat it. I'm yeah. trying to be talking it's, somebody. It's, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny because black culture is all of it. Like I would ex to totally expect to see a Chinese food place. I would expect to see the soul food Elote man there. You know, I, I, I would, <laughs> black ran Chinese food. I would okay. I would so expect this is just like a this is just like a black. I would expect okay. black culture to encompass yeah. all that. You know, black people like what they like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like Chinese food isn't really Chinese food. You can say exactly. it. anybody can Fact. say it. Like it's, yeah. it's the same thing with all the other businesses. Fact. But so it wouldn't be that you like it would be maybe it would end up with its own name. Like don't call it Little Black Town. Or <laughs> <laughs> Don't call it that. But so you're saying that it's called a, they, they call it Freedom Land. Freedom. Oh, you're right. That yeah. is the name of okay, so Freedom Land. Freedom yeah. Land. Uh, so you walk in and you know this is Freedom Land. Like, it sounds like a bad CBS. And, show. So that, that's what I'm gonna say. You know, there's more than one Chinatown. So like, is there a Freedom mm -hmm. Land? Where is this Freedom Land? I hope that uh, in, in Georgia. 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 Is, there, is there a Freedom Land Georgia? And then there's a Freedom Land. From what I say, this is the first time Arizona. these people have bought this area. So mm -hmm. if they can inspire other places, I hope we wouldn't adopt the It name wouldn't be called Freedom, Freedom Land. Land. I would hope we did not adopt that. Because you do see Little China a lot of places, you know, or Chinatown. But so also Black yeah. Town. If they make this Freedom Land, how <laughs> long do you think this Freedom Land is going to exist? Far as, uh, as far as before it turns into the hood? I would say... I can say it has all potential to not be a hood because mm -hmm. you had to have money to get involved in this. That's what I'm saying. You, you, yeah. you had to buy a certain amount of acres in this 97 acres to even be involved, I'm assuming. So ain't yeah. going to be no hood yeah. stuff, I would, I would assume. Mm -hmm. uh, but you would, what you would have is, is this going to be something that you want to develop into your own or is this just something that's going to supplement society that we already have? Because then that wouldn't take much adapting at all. You would just still live your regular life. Here's a better question. Right. How, how big is 97 acres? That don't sound like that's, a lot. That's, that's a lot, bro. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot. I think, uh, yeah, I think it's a good amount. A lot, bro. Damn, I thought it'd be a lot bigger than what it is looking like. Well. Uh, this is what this is what this is what Google got on the the images on. This is what nine seven acres gonna look like, man. I don't know. It don't it don't look like that much, bro. It's not even a square mile. I mean, zoomed out like that, you can fit a good amount of houses on there. Though. Yeah, a lot of houses. It's not, yeah, it's mm -hmm. not big. It's nice for spot. nineteen. Fa you can fit nineteen families in that. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Where are they? The far as are they even close to anywhere? Are they in the? So are they in a in a town, or would they really have like their own area code or something? No, nah, it's, it's part of part of that Georgia. Looks exclusive, yeah. It's part of Georgia. Right? That that wasn't it. I'm saying the town though, like they're not they're not like. No, they're not like their own town. Man. No, they just bought land at a place. But not in a city. In a city. In a in a city. In a city. Oh, okay. Either way, uh, well, we got caught up in it, but I think we all that's not even close to one square mile, but. I thought hey, it was that that. That. That's, a, that's just a lot. Like that's a big lot. You can put a Costco there. You can call it good. Probably a couple Costco. Black run Costco. That actually be kind of black strong. Black run Costco. Black run Costco.
don't even have any black friends. I'm, I'm for them moving somewhere they can feel secure if they got the money. If I had the money to do it, I would. Why not? If I could buy a land and fit 19 of my, my people's there. Yeah, but I just, like, what can they do with that? Like, what? what it's a, feel it's secure. Something. something. They something. can feel, feel secure. Safe. Yeah. Feel safe. That's big. Yeah. That's what this whole movement is about. Yeah. Right. NBA. Yeah. Well, this yeah. is not right. Yeah, we all know yeah. what everybody yeah. is. We got to talk yeah. about it. The yeah. Clippers got hung up on the cross today. Boy, they for real crucified. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think nobody hey, took, took the gloves off when, when they when they seen that come across the itinerary. Right? It's a sacrificial <laughs> lamb. Everybody was smelling blood the day before. Mm-hmm. Like the, the the commentators was talking about it. If you hear Stephen A's rant, like before, like he was, oh, oh my God, it was ridiculous. You talking about before they play, even played the game, they even played. Yeah. Everybody was smelling, <laughs> everybody smelled it in the air. Coming down the wire too, even mm-hmm. the the commentators was like, oh, this don't look good. There was not <laughs> one person yesterday who was thinking, hmm, I think the Clippers are going to win. I don't think there was anybody I was really thinking that everybody was on edge. Like, well, I thought they were. I thought they had it in hand going into the game. Even that first half, I was like, okay, the Clippers, you know, they let them hang around, but they're going to show we got championship pedigree. You know, we got people with better talent. We got people that's going to show up for the moment. And it was the opposite of all that. Like, they had that first half, and, they, and then after – I was ready to turn the game, too. I was like, okay, I'm about to go out here and do something else with this little bit of time before I got to go to work in the morning. <laughs> nah, man. You nah, had to stay. I had, had to, to stay. stay. I look back. I look back at my phone probably a few minutes into the third quarter. Yeah, I was, I was like, like, "Oh, they coming. They were coming." So I, I had to. I had to t- tune in. Mm. And what went wrong? Let's talk about what. What happened? Right, go ahead. They didn't want it. They didn't want they, it. They just didn't want it. Is that the simple? Nuggets, the Nuggets was more hungry, man. That dude Jamal Murray put up forty points. You can't come on now. And Paul George, who? Where you at, bro? You were supposed to be this max player contract, getting all this money. L.A. Kawhi Leonard. I mean, Kawhi, he got two. He got, he got what, two rings. I mean, Kawhi, he got two, three, two. He got two. He got two. Do we, I mean, oh, he got. Yeah, he got two. Paul George, come on. You, I told you, he's not that guy, bro. So we, he's you going straight guy. to Paul, huh? That's what the onus is. It was Paul. Paul didn't win. Paul George, you trash. Come on now. He, he, so he's he's the main culprit. That's what you pointing to. That's on point too. He only had ten points. Who 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 who's your main culprit? Like me, if I had to pick one person, or what went wrong? Why couldn't they figure it? it I think maybe I would put most of the blame on Doc. Coaching. Yeah. Most of the blame on Doc, huh? Coaching. Mm-hmm. Why? Um, because I mean they lost for so many reasons yesterday. Uh, was that today? That was yesterday. Yes, sir. I didn't remember. Um, yeah, they lost for so many reasons. They uh they failed like oh like if you think about what happened three games in a row and it like you can three kind games of, you can kind of row. see what happened they they got tired uh, they got and, discouraged I mean, they got, they, yeah so they're they're stressed out they got expectations to meet they're and uh, they're all out of shape they're not ready all of them nobody was ready for the bubble like you saw all these teams getting ready you didn't hear about the Clippers preparation and I think uh. I don't even want to give them that excuse. I'll no, hear I'm it. not giving. I'm yeah, not but, saying it's yeah, an excuse I don't, I don't, at all. Because all the teams got that it's same a, circumstance. It's a failing, but that yeah, was, that's yeah. number one. I will point will point to is that they were out of condition, and and uh, the second thing that I'll point to is that that Doc couldn't come up with anything to counteract what was going on. I was gonna, I was gonna add to that too. They did, he never like, stopped he had no, the bleed. He had, yeah, they had no true defensive. Uh, like tactics on the floor. They had no answer for it. Let's like, call it what it is. They uh, had no answer for they Joker. They had no defense. They, they had no yeah. answer for Joker. I guess uh, the the answer should have been somebody else besides Kawhi Leonard. And they tried Harold on them. They tried Kawhi. They tried is, Paul that's George. That's what I'm talking about. Like nobody they tried Zub- He was eating Zubac. Zubac could do double, nothing. Double, double. Easy. Zubac couldn't tie his shoe. <laughs> couldn't tie his shoe. <laughs> no. Been hard to stop. On, and I like Zubac. All accounts. I like Zubac. He actually might be the most consistent no. player. On the floor, at least they come during the playoffs. Big. During the playoffs, he was scoring way too much. Like I was getting pissed off during the the, the <laughs> Dallas Mavericks ser- series because I was like, "Who the fuck is Zubac?" They, the the yeah, Mavericks yeah. didn't have somebody yeah. that could a big once they lost K, uh, Chris Dass oh, for sure. True, yeah. Like, yeah. Zubac was on Lakers, and Lakers they didn't go. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe I didn't like that trade either. But, like, you know. and Zubac was and the Clippers doing work. 
Yeah, we we giving a lot of praise to Zubac right now, but I, for me, that's, <laughs> that's, part of the that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem. And I, I can smell you on on the doc thing. I, I he didn't stop the bleeding. I give you that. Three games in a row, mm -hmm. you were you had double digit leads in in two of those games where you you should have put them away. You were leading at the half of, of game seven. You didn't. So for me though, it's it's the star power, I, and the buck starts and stops with Kawhi, especially in that game seven. For me. For me, you're supposed to be that guy. The fourth quarter came around. You, you always make this argument, though. That's not really fair to say. Kawhi got them, actually. He was I don't the one always that make you that argument. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Mean? You, Hold on, you, hold you, on you, now. You want to lay it on his shoulders. You telling him, like, why didn't you pull off this win by yourself? Basically. No, 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 no. Uh, the way you looked and the way you lost is what matters. If he get that, that, that doesn't matter. Jamal Murray and Donovan Mitchell had that battle. I was not saying, oh, Donovan didn't do you do enough. Yeah. No, nah, he was. He gave you was everything. Talented. Even on nights where he wasn't scoring, he gave you effort. He mm -hmm. gave yep. you defense. He gave you screens. He gave you off ball moves. There movement. was definitely, and and this is something that you really wouldn't expect to say about Kawhi. There was definitely a lack of effort. He kind of quit. Him. Yeah. He kind of quit in the matters that the matter most. Was he's in the moments to, that matter he's most. He's used to a solid system running around him. And that wasn't happening. And I was also bring it to the chemistry point and, and that lack of leadership from its stars. Paul George, Kawhi, neither one. I think nobody on that team was going to war for them. They had Mo Hart playing with the ragtag group they had last year <laughs> than playing with the two superstars that they got yeah. this year. And they gave up their talent for. And I, don't, I don't think nobody was really riding with them like that. Yeah, uh, you know, they had uh, Paul George and um, uh, Harold had a little feud in game two. That was that was all yeah, 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 yeah. Did you so see? Did you see what that was though? I didn't look into it. Yeah. Did you happen to look in? I didn't read the article. I just, I just seen a little snippet of it saying they was arguing about. Oh, they said uh, Paul George said that Harold turned the ball over and it was Harold's fault. And Harold said, "Well, look, okay, well, I can't tell you nothing, nigga, because you that you that nigga. I can't tell you nothing. You I like that response. If that was yeah, his response, like, hold on, on. call him a lie on this. You a lie? Ain't what he said? Don't tell me the truth. Before you look it up. I but that's that. I mean, if that's what he said. I like that response from from Harold, like because you like, you supposed to be because you you Paul, play off you, Paul George. You know what I mean? Play off I can't, you, I can't take you guys, bro. You the the match player. You get all the money. I, I, I messed up. I if I was the and Lou was saying too, they didn't have chemistry. Get and that's that's chemistry. the biggest reason that yep. it didn't all come together. So mm -hmm. if that's if and I could say that I could believe that too. And you said something about Lou being the. Uh, the clo not the closer. I think you say. What did you say? The guy for them or the what did you call Lou? You remember Brian? He the. Uh, I'm gonna read you. He called him something, and Lou should have been having more of the ball in that last. Oh, in, in that, in uh, that fourth acceptable quarter. Acceptable and not exceptional. Except, and yeah, he, he should not even acceptable. He, he should have been given the opportunity to be exceptional when Paul George and Kawhi kept bricking. I think he's had plenty of They kept not not that last game. He didn't he's, get his enough shots in the, down the stretch. Out of out of. He didn't blow an easy layup though. He's I, I saw four that. for twenty. Yeah. yeah. Total and, in threes and that series in, in, in all of it. In, oh, playoffs? Not the yeah, the whole all playoffs. Oh man, yeah, yeah. no, he's not. Been, <laughs> yeah. he's not been performing well. But here we go. Harold approached his teammate about the risky pass with George not taking responsibility and arguing that the pass could have been caught had Harold made the right play. Sources said that's a bad sound. That's yeah, bad. when you blame everybody else. And Harold responded with something along the lines of, you're always right. Nobody can tell you nothing. And expletives were uttered from both players, sources said. He eventually toned down his rhetoric, but he and Harold wasn't having it. Teammates began clapping on the sideline in part to discuss what was going on and in an attempt to defuse the situation. The incident de-escalated shortly after as coach Doc Rivers took his seat to go over the game plan. <sighs> Doc, out of there. This is my problem. If you a star player, right, you a star player, you fuck up. Own up to it, nigga. I fucked up. You can't if you can't tell a lesser player that's you that's not making this money, that's not as good as you, you always fucking up. If you a star player you fucked up, nigga, you fucked up. Don't call you out on it, bro. And expect me to respond with any I'm gonna call you out. Do yeah. any stars yeah. own up to their mistake on the court? Paul George. Paul nigga, Paul George, who is you, bro? You fucked up, man. You, you, you the pass wasn't accurate. Paul George was the pass better, bro. Player. Is he? Right, right. Oh, on the team, yeah. He made, like, I don't think I don't think no star like owns up today 
they everybody complain when something don't go wrong. They right don't go right. They right to the ref, right? Like, like what happened? You saw me yeah, miss the Between layup? teammates, when the like people aren't really listening to what you guys are saying, like that's an exchange where that that was kind of somewhat private. Yeah, 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 that, for sure. You know that somebody just happened over here. Yeah, what was that? It was on they the were, court. It was on the court. It was I on the court in the game. Okay, so they probably this is something he probably they probably argued about before. Is yeah, that's just a glimpse of a bigger when, piece. What yeah. he said, what is it, is uh, uh, interesting to me is that. Montrez said, "You always right." Exactly. That's something that you tell That's, a nigga that can't be told nothing. nothing. Like, yeah, yeah. Told that, hard headed. That, that tells <laughs> yeah. you that he doesn't listen to anybody. He's st- he's doing his own thing. Like I'm I'm just like abstracting here, but like he basically doing his own thing. I don't think he's really taking to heart his role on that team. He's just like it, it seems like he's not really in the winning mindset. mindset. Mm-hmm. I'd agree. Not a winning coach. I'd agree. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'd agree. About I totally agree. And, and when they said they ain't never been out of the, the second mm-hmm. round. You got so much that dep- depends on that player and he has no Definitely heart. a losing culture team. Mm-hmm. And yeah. the team, not just this year's product out there. Like the team, the L.A. Clippers have been a losing culture, culture since they've been in. But that's the winning culture. Team, that's another. That's another. When I talk about true winning culture, uh, maybe two of them got knocked off during these playoffs, and then the the ones that have winning culture are all in right now. Winning culture for this year, I think, or maybe fighting culture. Maybe I should say, the, or like fighting. Yeah, and I don't know. I think that the, the highest, yeah, this year, this year, the best winning culture teams are showing up right now. And then that's because, that's at a glance, a glance at about a few years. Like when you call that's that team. You yeah. know, like when but you talk about the team of the Clippers, like since the franchise history, losing no. culture, losing yeah. culture. Yeah, yeah, franchise history, losers. losing culture. But, losers, straight but up losers. this team that everybody's dealing with <laughs> yeah. in the present mm. is all I was specifically talking but about. But also losers. <laughs> yeah, losing culture. <laughs> uh, but, no, they weren't, I mean, would you, like, like before we talked about this, this is what it all uh, comes to. So it kind of completely recategorizes what you were saying because you're calling Clippers losing culture. Mm. You know, aren't they over, you know, they're above 50% mm-hmm. they wins. They got all the right stats. So yeah, in the in the in the micro, you know what I'm yeah, yeah. Right now, they look like they should be a winning culture, but they're not. But you glance culture. out and look at and it. These is, motherfuckers yeah, are. This is what, I, <laughs> yeah. what I'm talking about when I talk about a losing culture team. That means that they were ne- they never had a chance. They never had a chance. They didn't. It was gonna show. It was gonna show it d- during the regular now, course of the season. On Miami side, show. winning culture team. Winning culture. Franchise, and, and they didn't franchise. Time, they didn't. Yeah. They didn't take that that time off for granted. I know you know they didn't. Hey, Jimmy Butler, go hard, man. He, he woo right now, man. Y'all see that block by Bam? Woo! Oh, oh my God, God. Yeah. it's beautiful. Did I you see, see? I see Bam playing Sacramento. This is in Sacramento. Well, this is live. Yeah. Yeah. You watching it live, and Jason Tatum jumped high enough, and you see him throwing, back. throwing down. Yeah, he's like, it. I was like, oh, he's gonna. It's, yeah, we're, then we're going yeah. into overtime. Yeah, he's gonna happen. Take us there or something or. And uh, that was for the lead. I think that was for a one. That was for the lead. tie. That was for the tie. Was it for the tie? That was for the tie. But he th- he was. It looked like yeah. he was about to go down. I didn't even know Bam was there because I was watching Jason Tatum, and this nigga popped up and said, "What?" I was like, "What the?" F-? <laughs> and 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 it was it was executed like to Woo! perfection. It wasn't like a a fluke. I happened to be there. No, he was he there. Got he got all ball. Got it. Got it. He used the left yeah. hand. There was resistance. body away from the dude. No body contact. There was a joust. Like yeah, all joust. muscle with yeah. the weak hand. Like oh, uh. Bam, Bam is the top three big man in the game right now. I don't know about that. Just because I don't know about enough Bam. I don't know. Bam, I don't know Bam, enough Bam, out of Bam, Bam. If, you look, if you look over his season, you would say yeah, maybe. That, they, yeah. they keep saying and that a Jimmy argue. Butler Bam, and Hero. They saying Bam, you know, heart blood of the team. You know, we go as he goes. He our he our guy. So I'm just yeah. that's what I know of Bam. Is but for watching him, I really only see his impact on the defensive end. Just watching. I see Bam. I see Bam play in Sacramento. Oh, once a second. Oh yeah, yeah. Say it again. Bam was, Bam, I went to Sacramento in, in the Heat game in Sac. Bam was, was whooping these niggas. I'm like, who is this nigga, bro? Yeah, so you was on to him like, then. Oh, huh? Bam, okay, this dude go hard, man. Yeah, but yeah, the wait, how did this start? Oh, uh, because of so, Paul so, George. So we we taking a moment to segue. rip into Paul George. Are we going back to ripping? I thought we segued. <laughs> I, no, we didn't segue. We, <laughs> we, hey, we go back and rip We go back to Boston. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, we finish it off. That's what it was that Paul George set us off on, that we were talking about the conversation he had with Montrezl Harrell. But so, I, I just think we all agreed it was a very, uh, very telling showing yeah. for that Clipper organization. Yeah, you're right. That, yeah. <laughs> That's just who they oh. are, man. 
going forward, is Doc gone? We all think Doc out of there? Yeah. Uh, not this time. Not this time. You giving him a chance? You giving well, him one more? What What would you do if you were the Clippers? Would you blow it all up right now, or would you try to go one can't more? Do you, you just got Paul George. You can't blow it up yeah. now. Exactly. But aren't they both up, though, 2021 season? Ain't they both up in free agency? Uh, actually, I don't know about that. I don't know. I think they both are. So, Kawhi and I think, I, think, I think they both are up. So after next year? Oh, oh, oh you just can't just look me up. Look me up. You have to call me out, man. You, 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 <laughs> you can't just look me up. You <laughs> lying. <laughs> so is is the is the Clippers going to use is is, is is the Clippers going to I put a shot on it. Team is next year to say, try it out again. You say mm-hmm. say give them a chance. Is what you said? Do you think Clippers going to have the same 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 guys next year to, for one more year to try it out again, or they're going to break it up? If, if I'm the organization, I'd be looking to make moves, especially uh, Balmer. Right, that's the owner. He'd been there. Doc was there with the old regime, right? The old uh, racist coach. And yep. he stayed over. Teams didn't win. We got him a whole new set of all stars. Teams still ain't win. I'm moving on from Doc if I'm if I'm Bomber. And I can and so, I can make a decision with no like I feel like you done you've done him right, right? Like you've you've done him right. Yeah, he had players. You gave him every opportunity. He had, he had players, bro. They're both he eligible. Did. They both eligible to not sign with the Clippers next year. Oh, not sign. They have options. Yeah. Yeah, I think they should. I think they should try it out. Twenty again after the 2020, 2021. Hey! Wait, 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 wait. wait. 2020, 2021. That's right. this year. Is that this year? Right. Yeah, twenty twenty. Yeah, it's this year. Or is this the nineteen twenty twenty season? Twenty one or this yeah, is twenty. This is twenty twenty one. No, this is this is nineteen twenty. It's not two thousand nineteen. This is twenty twenty. This is nineteen and twenty. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, does Paul George get traded? I, I based off, it seemed like it ain't a happy situation there. Based off the hero and the Lou Williams comments, I'm yeah. thinking they go. At least George go. Really? Where is he gonna go? He can go. He can go wherever he wants. But nobody's gonna want him. It's a free agency. I mean, they'll take him. whatever he nobody agrees to. Him. I guess. He got, you know, he's still valuable on the floor. And everything, exactly. That's why any team I think him. will sign him if he agrees to whatever they offer him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he ain't gonna be like cannot, looking for work. He can't be your best player for a champion. Imagine he gotta, no. He gotta if be the Kawhi goes back. He be the, Paul, the second option. If yes. Kawhi goes back, would Paul George go back or like? Why would you want to hop to another a team again? Then you're gonna be that player. Yeah, I think you already are that player. You go. You can try to. You can try to change the narrative and stay third, there. This is his third team. You can try to change the narrative and stay there, two or you can go be years. happy. You can go do something two that's going to. Two teams in two years, and then you you have to leave again and pack up because you didn't make the cut there. If I'm Paul George, I wouldn't care about that. That's that's letting outside noise affect how yeah. you make your decisions and how you and where you want to play. But I'm not happy with the Clippers. I'm out of there. Paul George as. To be seen, he <laughs> played outside noise and affect his game. Right, what you say? Sorry. He said Paul George has let outside uh, noise affect his game. He does? Him and, uh, uh, Dame Lillard was going at it. And Paul George said, yeah, man, I was, I was, I was in the good – nigga. Yeah. Nigga, man, play ball. Stop playing. Yeah, yeah. That stuff gets to him. He bows out of all those confrontations. Bro, and, and that's that's the small thing. That's not something small. A little Instagram, mm-hmm. little – what? Then he didn't even need to insert yourself for the one. He didn't have nothing to do with that. He could have stayed out. And then, and then, but you dove into it. But I, I think you can let him go. Does he go is another question. Uh, I think you can let him go if he wants to. I don't think you got to – you ain't got to fight if you're the Clippers. Well, I got to ask, who are you going to get for him? Uh, like, who if he walks away in free agency, you wouldn't get anything. Oh, you're right. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, you going to take that shot, though? I'm, or is that my oh, shot? Yeah, That's I'm your shot, right? my shot. With you on that? Uh, hey, someone yeah. called me a lie for the uh, – for the – the Herald and George few who call me out. Someone called me out for that thing. I did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we didn't make no parameters on it. I forgot about it too. What was the? What did I? Oh, I don't like even remember what he, what he said. What was the? What was? What did we? What did he say? Oh, I said that he basically it was going at it, and Paul George said Harold could have did this and that better, and he can't. Harold said he can't do. Oh, he can't do nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Can't tell him nothing. This and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, I, I mean, uh. I take a yeah. shot then too, even though you ain't say nothing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there I we go. it up just to balance it. You know my my winning percentage on these you is pretty good, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> More be doing secret research. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, my got a whole team man. back there. <laughs> I've been reading on this all week. <laughs> yeah, I do want to do more on this uh, Boston Celtics and Heat. 
That might be the. Hey, hey you see that? Uh, that's that's gonna be, it's going game seven for sure, man. Clink, clink, clink. Okay, I respect that. I respect that. Yes, sir. Oh fuck, smear no. Oh, he <laughs> said, "Yeah, I could, I could have told you that when you got the bottle." I went cheap, man. I went cheap. Fuck it. But yeah, uh, that Boston Celtics in the Heat, man, that's gonna be a game seven for sure. For sure. So you think Boston makes all the adjustments necessary for this game too? They was they were swinging at each other, man. This was the battle of talented versus uh, a tight knit unit. Like this was this was yeah. beautiful, beautiful basketball. I think. What uh, the type oh, of teams, oh, oh, talent, man. talented t- individuals, and like, my issue. Well, it's just. Uh, I just want to comment because I don't really comment on the heat a lot is uh, like the way they get off. Like the Tyler hero is no joke. No, Bro, he's, he's not sure. afraid. No, no threats, fear. There are threats from outside. Like nobody, rookie too. Rookie. like they have enough rookie. Yeah. They have yeah. enough firepower to equal what Jamal Murray puts up outside. He be, he putting up like that. As a, like, as they, a they, unit, as a unit. They're doing it yeah. as a unit. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. It's yeah. working because yeah. they're putting up them numbers as a unit yeah. and then they, they making it up, making up for it. Defensively. Defensively, yes. Yeah. Bringing it. Can match everything Boston can do. Because Boston is def- defensively stout, too. Stout. Mm-hmm. Like, Marcus Smart is the unsung hero of the playoffs for me. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. if they didn't have Marcus Smart, judges wouldn't be there. Everything you want Kimba to be, Marcus Smart is. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything. And I didn't see that coming. But I liked Marcus Smart since his uh, Oklahoma State Oklahoma, days. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, days. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Is, is Baller. Why? Yeah. How come Kimba Walker does not have the ball at the end of the game and Jason Tatum does? Look at what he was producing. Tatum was good. Look at what he was producing. He was Kimba Walker. He's struggling struggling right now. He's struggling with. He's not struggling like to score. He's struggling to. He was struggling to score. He is stepping up to every opportunity to make the the big shots. That's what he's doing. I'm not saying he's not in good position to make shots, but they're not falling. The, if they the don't fall, ones, you have to, you have to address that. Yeah, he's impacting the game. Get lit, J- this is what we get on day yeah. for. Let CJ get off. It's not falling, Kimba. Jason Tatum has enough in his arsenal to get it done, and he's on. Mm-hmm. Give him the ball. I'm okay, I'm okay with that 22, 23, whatever mm-hmm. he is. I'm okay with that. If you on, I, I can see I if he was, he was both off and you still shrinking from the moment. That's yeah. another thing. That's a James Hart. <laughs> see that. That's yeah. not what I see. Kimber wants it. It just wasn't on. Same thing with uh, Tatum. Same thing. I still get He was it. on, though. Tatum was yeah. on. Well, yeah, but like when it, the big shots, like all the, he took a lot of he, I think he took a lot of big shots that he didn't make. He didn't make the <laughs> comeback baskets. So he made a couple. They were in it all the way up until that regulation, yeah. the uh, overtime. Dropped, I mean. Yeah, he dropped a few, and then he took. And that uh, dunk, man, that's I, I liked all that. If I'm Kimba, I'm not mad. I'm like, man, why didn't you give me that touch? I'm yeah, like, yeah. man, that's a strong take. I don't think Kimba. Strong take. That's yeah, just I mean, a better defensive play. Yeah. yeah what I mean, can you do of it against yeah, that? I think everybody on the floor. I don't think anybody blamed him when that block came. Nobody saw that. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Extraordinary. Yeah. Oh, he gonna bang, bang out. Yeah, yeah, that's the best you can ask for. Like mm-hmm. he was in, he was in the right spot. He was making the right play, and the right guy just happened to be right under him. Now, does <laughs> does an experienced player do a floater? I, I thought that too. I thought no? nobody else would nah. switch to a finger roll. It, oh nah. no! If you go on that hard to lane, right there, how are you even gets that bucket to drop? If you go on that hard in lane, driving that hard, you got to dunk like that. it. You, you like it, that, bro? That was a grown man, and what and it looked like against a, a team. Nothing, nothing <laughs> wrong with that, but he he could have. There are other players who would have just busted out a quick finger roll. Change, the craftiness yeah. of the of the that situation. happens all the time. Like sometimes they don't. They he prioritized the moment over like like the no that's dumb. Like he prioritized trying to get that bucket over. Uh, I like what you said. The, the moment. moment. He, I like the like moment. The moment. Though. That moment. If he was really in that moment, big he moment. that ball, they win that game. Big moment. It would have been. It would have been a tie. But the momentum switch. I oh, think bro. Boston is up. Oh, like, yeah. Up. The way that the way yeah. that Miami was. Yeah. Like yeah. I think that switches and and Boston pulls off. That. It's gonna be that close this whole series. Yeah. It's gonna be like it's gonna emotional. Be fun to watch. It's gonna be real I'm fun to watch. Forward to it. I'm looking <laughs> forward to watching that. They don't drive though. They have Marcus Smart in the corner wide open for a three. But that same drive. But then again, you that's a good take. I mean, nigga, I'm going to take it too. But now that's going to be in his mind, right? Like, okay, I'm going to watch yeah. the film. I'm going to see I had Marcus Smart in the corner. You know, I can see I could have probably did a different shot different that would have been to my shot. advantage. But if you're that close to the rim, by the, you know what I mean? 
Fuck I think I'm he just waiting. proved to himself that he wasn't athletically superior. Yeah. Like you thinking, okay, <laughs> I'm the guy. I'm more. I'm the guy. I'm about to dunk on you. LeBron yeah. probably gonna dunk on you. Yeah, Tatum just realized he's not LeBron. <laughs> like, like, I'm gonna have to. Or he got. I mean, he still got a little ways to go. A little ways so, to go. He ain't his man. He's not yet. too far he from. Yeah, he's not too far from throwing that down unstoppable. Oh yeah, he's not, he's yeah, not he get that. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be over. And I think he is. He's shown that he's just been working on his game. He ain't doing nothing else. I got one one little quick little uh little comment that I want to uh, want y'all to uh, uh, discuss about um light skin brother from the Nuggets. What's his name? Um uh, Porter. Ah, uh, yeah, Michael Porter. Uh, yeah, Porter or, said yeah. that uh one of the losses they had. I guess uh, did, they, did, they, did they lose? They probably lost the game. I probably don't know, but he said, "Well, in the fourth quarter, I should have got the ball more." They asked, they asked, <laughs> yeah, <the> yeah. <laughs> I knew he was gonna go with that too. <laughs> <laughs> I should have got the ball more. That's what happened. That's how we lost the game. Well, he's a rookie. Do you nobody, agree with this? I hate it or love it. it awesome. Nobody blamed him for feeling that way. I think a lot of people agree with that. Mm-hmm. But uh, they said that he shouldn't have said that out on the camera. Yeah, so, that did, was the only Do y'all thing. believe he – like, he believe, obviously believes he's, he's the most person on the team. Do he's y'all good. believe that? I just think he should get a little talented more. on the team. Like, he should get a little bit he more. He said they lost players. because he didn't get the ball. That's uh, basically. <laughs> right. That's what he said. Yeah, basically. I mean, he's having that he's good gone. of a game like that. He, he plays he's... like that. He plays like he believes every time he touches it, it's gonna go in. Mm-hmm. He shoots these. Cra- mean, he that, shoots crazy result, shots right? <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I haven't seen a game with Michael Carter Porter. Oh, uh, not my one. Michael mm-hmm. Carter Porter. <laughs> whatever this nigga name is. <laughs> Last game, cut. I ain't seen a game where he done balled out. They exist. This is not the ones I watched though. Every time I watch Denver play, he, right. he's just sitting there. Me too. Me too. I <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just I standing seen, around. I haven't seen any of his games. He is a he is a matchup problem though for a lot of people. Six he's nine, big, right? six ten. Yeah. He he was out rebounding like everybody on the Clippers. Oh, he got a game, bro. Knocked down three. Mm-hmm. Supposedly, you know, you know he I puts mean, the ball on, on the ground. Point forward ish. Yeah. I mean, ish. but if you own though, if you making all the buckets and you get you get you own the game today's your game, bro, and you ain't getting the ball. You don't was get it that right? though? Was it that? I, I didn't see the game. I didn't see the game, so I don't know. But I, I see know. you got to give it to Murray. Murray and Joker. Yeah. yeah. Those are your first two. I'm your a Jamal two first man game. right now. That dude is – I don't know if anybody's individually playing better than he is. I, I was I was watching him like, thinking as as over it. Buckets, I agree, man. As far as getting buckets, nobody's playing. I don't, like I don't, I don't right even now. think Steph Curry has had a run they like giving, he's having right they're now. They're giving Jokic all the credit because he is kind of the rock of that team, but but – Jamal Murray's like the gun, like that nigga. You point him at you gotta you gotta give Jokic the, the, like the credit. Everybody, but he, like you say, he only had a Jokic was setting it up. He's the yeah. Player. He had a low a He's low double maker. digit triple double, but he had like 18, 19 rebounds, like thirteen yeah. assists. <laughs> yeah. so a big man bringing the ball up, yeah. like yeah. like this is like yeah, point guard. What was it? It was uh, he had over. I think he didn't he have over twenty. He didn't have more than twenty. I don't think he had more than twenty. Man, his, that triple double was amazing, though. Yeah, like, yeah, it was. It was allowed under twenty. That was some NBA my career. I mean, you can call me a lie. I don't know. Like my, but, <laughs> but I, think, I, I think he was, he was under lie. twenty. I think he was under twenty. He was. Yeah, he. he it was a uh, teens, all, all teens, but like an impressive all teens. Did you call me on it? You a lie? You, you see it? Over twenty. Did he? Mm-hmm. Game seven. Game seven. Over twenty. What, how confident are you? Damn, well, confident. You want me to be confident? How, how confident? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm 100 confident. What's that mean on the bet, huh? Shoot, we can do a shoot. I don't know, ten dollars. Yeah, you ten dollars confident, huh? Uh, ten dollars. Uh, don't push ups. I ain't worked out in a little bit. I, mean, I do some push ups. <clears throat> well, commit. You you called the lie. Which one is it? I do. I do the ten dollars. Ten dollars. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Jokic had 22 rebounds, oh. Oh, 13 assists. I should have called you a lot. 16 points. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Send me my money. That's an impressive stat line, though. That is unstoppable, really. That's really, really impressive. But Murray giving you 40. Uh, Gary Harris giving you 14. Thank Grant, you. who underrated, giving you 14. That's tough. That's, that's a collective group that can do a lot of things. Mm-hmm. 
that all believe. All believe that they, they were down three one against Utah and came back. And they and they said they had a the little commercial on on there. You uh, Murray was packing his bag and he's like, "Oh, I called my my teammates. Like, I want to go home." And they've been yeah. playing like that. They've been playing like that. They came into the second round out and matched, figured it out, one out. I think the same thing is gonna happen. I ain't yeah. gonna make. I ain't gonna make no predictions. I was talking about uh, Denver was gonna get swept with the with. with <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna just watch the games, but <laughs> predicting it, just looking at it, they gonna look like they overmatched initially, and uh, then they gonna figure it out and be competitive. The Lakers, mm-hmm. uh, Denver. So Denver. Oh, I was thinking the same. I was thinking the Lakers was gonna be in that position of looking like they can't handle it initially. I'm expecting the Lakers to come out with a little more, but I don't know why. They also be coming out looking real shaky. I was about to say that. <laughs> their tendency has been more often to lose the first game. But they ain't dropping down 3-1. No. Denver uh, has dropped they, down 3-1 both times. They only lose times. like one game. Denver dropped 3-1 both times. Yeah. So who's going to win the series? Lakers but it didn't good. matter. That's why I said they clicked. That's yeah. why I, was, I think the same thing. They'll come out looking shaky, beatable, and then something to click. And then it'll be competitive. And that's all I got for you right now. I'll know more as they play. It's going to be that shaky when they playing like that. Like that. The first games, if you're coming out and you're getting blown vibes. out, though. Yeah, yeah, but like. But you know they got they that in them. Yeah, yeah. that's yes. Golden State yes. vibes. Like they'll yes. straight up take over the yes. game. Like they don't care what quarter it is. <laughs> like that's crazy. I'd agree. They don't give a fuck. I think I, Clippers would have gave Lakers a better run for their money. No, Nuggets, they wouldn't have. I think they would have. Denver is about to give the Lakers did did not want Denver to win. I'll give you that. I'll bet you that money. Uh, they didn't want Denver to win. I mean, Denver, they got Denver been playing I, like that. You tripping. Different. Denver been playing like that all playoffs. I think we all wanted to see the Battle of LA. That yeah, was the that Denver, was the hype. Denver deserves yeah, that was the hype from the before the season but started, right? The Battle of LA. Kawhi and LeBron. Yeah. I think a few times we get those like heated, like built up matchups. We never see them. Remember when they was hyping the Kobe LeBron? Kobe LeBron is yeah, exactly. never got that. Yeah, like, no. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want the hype because it wouldn't be as good as what's happening right now. It wouldn't be. As yeah, I don't. I don't, don't want to take away from that yeah. either. But yeah, but that's what everybody was, was that looking was what forward all to. Hyped up, and that's mm-hmm. what everybody wanted. That was the story. That and was the battle that people because wanted to see. the Clippers turned out to be not a, a, a phony. <laughs> There's phonies out here. <laughs> Placebos. Yeah, that was definitely yeah. like a straw man. You know, just a not really what you thought it was. You see okay. Matt Johnson's uh, uh, Twitter? <clears throat> he Who's? said L- Matt, Matt Johnson. Oh, what is he saying? Lakers will always run L.A. Clippers will never, ever have a name in L.A. Lakers will always run the city. It's they curse. They got to get out of there. Like dude said, man, we go to Austin. We go to Maine. Somewhere. Don't, don't, don't do that. We can keep them in California. Just put them somewhere. Anaheim. San Diego. We go to San Diego. I mean, hey, man, you can go to Modesto. I'm not to San Diego oh. either. So what? Just let him go to San Diego. <laughs> Fuck it. Whatever. I go down to San Diego for a game. Shoot. Hell yeah. That's yeah, hell yeah. yeah. There's a reason now. Yeah, There's a reason just to go. Here you go. <laughs> Any bold positions? Who winning? Y'all got winners for the conference finals game? Or is it too soon? Me and Maury about to get into it right now. I already know because I'm about to say I got Denver to win. Ooh. Denver, Denver over the Lakers? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. And I, got, they, I got Denver to win. And in the East, got, man, stop it! I got Lakers. I got Denver winning, man. And in the East, I'm riding the Denver train right now. Ooh, man, East, uh, smart, man. That's that's like in the they, East. They, 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 in the East, who got it? Did you even watch that game? Why would I try to make that call? I have yeah, no. Call. I, I ain't trying to make that call. So you, 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 you can call. You can you can call the other game. Yeah, not, the Heat have not been losing. You that's can you can call the other the other games we just wrapped up, but you can't call the ones we've already seen. I'm not really that. I'm actually more excited for the Eastern Conference right this year. Like they. Balling right now. Oh, you said either the Celtics or the Heat. Oh, God damn. I'm rooting for the Heat. I'm hoping these Lakers games are going to be good. I want the Celtics to win, man. I'm going. You know what? Damn, I'm going Celtics. I'm I'm rooting for the Heat. I'm I'm rooting for the Heat. I'm on going this Celtics, game. man. You going Celtics? I'm going. I'm going oh, Celtics. we talking about like the end result? Like, or are we talking about conference? conference? Oh, so wait. Did the, oh, so Lord, the way what? too soon predictions. Uh, Maury didn't call me out on the Denver. Uh, got Denver? No. Not Called right. you out on it, no? Oh, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, we, we can. We can do that now. Denver going to the finals. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, is that Wes? Yeah. I'm going to say LeBron does it. I'm I'm, I'm going to hitch my wagon to, to Brian on that one. That's the easier bet, but. We're going to see mm-hmm. LeBron versus his former organization. Well, here's the thing. Like, how who's really going to mm. shut them down? Like, who's going to. Shut who down? The 
on Denver? Like, who do they have that's going to stop all that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm 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 who's hitching my wagon to the experience of LeBron, man. Who's gonna stop Jamal Murray? Like, is he gonna score as much as Jamal Murray? They gonna, they gonna throw they gonna throw bodies gonna at him. Responsible for as many points. They as they gonna have bodies to throw alone. at him alone. And are uh, you right? And then they're not gonna let everybody else run rampant like they was. I I, I think yeah for sure for sure. So, they're better defensive. This is gonna be their best defensive challenge for Denver. They, and they don't have trouble. Yeah. They don't move on the floor like. Ain't this. no worried about who joke who gonna guard Joker. He gonna get a healthy dose of Anthony Davis. Oh. Yeah. yeah, easy. And he got to bring his A game every night. Every night. Yeah. Every night. Anthony too, though. Anthony can disappear on you. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, mm-hmm. no guarantees, man. I'm going to go Denver, man. They've been, they, if they get on I'm, the road, I'm going Legends Brian, versus Heat. Brian, I got $100. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, I will pay you $100. No, I ain't betting $100. I can't do that. I, I, Brian, I will pay you $100. He's not convicted. You, series. you can pay me whatever you want. All right. Or whatever, uh, whatever it is. You're going to get half of eating fortune cookie. You say I'm going to get paid just because <laughs> Denver win? <winning? laughs> I'll give you 100 bucks if Denver wins the series. And you get if, if I'll match if, that. If Lakers lose, I'll match that. that time, yeah, I'll match that. Yeah, I'll match my that. Hundred dollars. Okay. You have to sell some more. Right. That's one day. I'll bet you five thousand. Be like, bro, you got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I bet the BMW. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do that. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> my car ain't even worth your BMW. Pink <laughs> slips, nigga. <laughs> heard, the, heard the news on the Cardi B and uh, Offset from the Migos. Mm-hmm. They're uh, divorcing. Calling it quits. I guess the uh, relationship is that toxic. Um, it's three days before their third anniversary. Third three-year anniversary. Oh, three yeah. days. Yeah, three days before the three years. So Three years. Yeah, it's not. Like, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. Yeah, I mean, nah. maybe for celebrities, that may be a long time, but nigga, I don't know, man, whatever. But they got draws over than that. They call the quits after, I guess, all set, mm-hmm. been supposedly cheating. That's what the allegations is. You know, they, they, they do niggas. Niggas is always cheating, but niggas don't cheat. We already, who, who said Lil Duvall said that, didn't he? Nah, uh, Carlos don't. Miller. He the, he the creator. Black, black, black men don't, black don't, men don't cheat. cheat. I stand by it. Well, I stand by it. <laughs> hey, you know what? Yeah. Black <laughs> men don't cheat. Black I stand by cheat. it. And what do they? What do they do? <laughs> they don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I know plenty of black men that black cheat. men don't cheat. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you a black man? <laughs> you <Yeah>. cheat? No. <laughs> black men don't cheat. <laughs> but hey, they called it quits after almost three years of marriage. They got a, a daughter named Culture. They got in the picture. Uh, Cardi B wants full custody of the daughter, too. As she should have. Yeah, Amy. Yeah, she's the monster, so she should have the full. I bet he don't even fight that. Yeah, <laughs> nah, nah. I'm not saying he don't love his baby. He love his baby, but he yeah, don't he want do. that kid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 you know, I mean, if it was like that with me, I'd be like, yeah, you can have them most of the time. I'll do whatever. Else give him a weekends. Give him a weekends. Yeah. I'll say, been, I just want to see him a little saying bit. that he's been cheating on Cardi and stuff. They've seen DMs from other females. Uh. He went on the uh, Rolling Loud with a uh, Cardi B show up on stage talking about Cardi take me back in roses and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's done it a couple times. Yeah, Real simple. I mean, what y'all think on this Cardi B and all said finally calling it quits? I'll, I'll go ahead. I, I feel like it was a charade from the get go. Yeah. And I won't say like they didn't, they didn't care for each other. Yeah, I mean, exactly I'm not going to I'm not gonna say that. But it was a move. They was both hot. I don't know yeah. whose idea it was, but. Yeah. I thought the two of them together, they was gonna go off hotter, and she did, mm-hmm. at least. Don't you think that he was like like Nico before they got married? You hear a lot more from them since they've been married. Yeah, they don't hear nothing like that. Nah, none of them. Yeah. Yeah, none of them. He's like that. They been doing it like that. Yeah, exactly. not even. Yeah, only thing you hear is that he married to her. That's it. You know? That's it. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know. I, I don't think I don't want to just be all doom and gloom on him. I didn't think it was gonna work out. From yeah. get go, you know, yeah. he's still pretty childish from what I could see, you know. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know what she expected for mm-hmm. him to turn away all other girls. And I think I made the point earlier, like he's living a rock star life, and he wanted, mm-hmm. and she seems to want like a, a husband. And I don't think the two really mixed. I'm gonna say, well, I mean, if she out there being Cardi B, is that like? 
I think she's out here giving an image of Cardi B. Oh, so like the she, walk. Like any woman can, she's just doing whatever she needs to do to uphold her career. Yeah, but she living her life. It's, and again, a skepticism. I'm, I mean, I'm just speculating. I, I would, speculating. Ag- I would agree. I would see that more. Like that's how you know women are more like that. Like they'll do whatever they gotta do, but they're gonna live their life how they wanna live it. So if she wanna, like yeah. you know, have a monogamous relationship, then that's what she would probably dedicate herself to. Mm-hmm. But with men, it's like you make the mistake just because you could. Yeah. 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 Like Cardi gets. I don't know. Cardi gets the power and the or the fame from being a certain way, so she continues this certain way to support her lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Whereas Offset, he's in this lifestyle, and whatever comes his way, he'll take. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a little, it's a little different. Yeah. Like she's manipulating her situation, whereas Offset is kind of just in it. But then again, it happen around uh, him. Uh, celebrity getting getting married. I mean, how often do they actually last? Long for marriage for a celebrity like rappers, they don't last I mean, that long, bro. It's a so tough I mean, ask, man. I think celebrities need to start going into it the way that some have approached. Like uh, traditionally, can't I work. I think actually, black celebrities have done this very well. Maybe they just do it more publicly very well. Maybe white celebrities do it too. But like, they will like get together and it's like a political marriage. Like they yeah. know what they're bringing to it. Like Will and Jada, and uh, and and honestly, that's what I think. And, uh, that's what they Jay-Z thought they were doing. Say. I don't think they thought they were. You thought this that. was, oh, I love you and I just want to marry you on some yeah, real, just I real fickle, I think it fleeting meant, emotion it type might, stuff? Yeah, it might not even been that deep, yeah. It, it, it wasn't that deep. It could have been that deep. It wasn't. It wasn't. Because they're not, that's not enough to really be a power couple. I guess it kind of is. I they're think they really. were trying to, because trying to, the, the heat they both had at the time, not it's looking like, at it through the goggles now, but the yeah. heat they had at that time. Three years ago. Three years ago. Three years ago, yeah. Yeah. Three years ago. It was, was hot three years ago. Cardi was just getting on the scene. And she mm-hmm. got the number one single out now with uh, Old Girl. I mean, she I hot. think Cardi's buzz, yeah, it, it was peaking. It was rising faster at one point, but I don't think it's peaked yet. I think she's no. still going up. Yeah, she's still going up for sure. Mm-hmm. Offset, we can't really say the same. Offset, nah, he ain't doing nothing. Yeah, right? He not the best niggas on the Migos. Quite a Agreed, though, yeah. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. I mean, I come agree. on now. Like, come on. I mean, she ain't, I mean, she ain't, he ain't he really. Ain't, you ain't yeah, even Quavo. Yeah, he's not even Quavo. You also. You ain't that, you ain't that dude, that dude, but whatever. So I, I, I like, I was, I think there was a misunderstanding on if, if it wasn't for just the publicity or we, we hot right now, let's see if we can combine forces and take off. It was a misunderstanding on Cardi B's point part if she thought uh, he was going to be monogamous to her. And it was also wrong of him if he came in with the monogamy talk, like you my only one type stuff. He should have had the Will Jada we approach. We've talked about this before. <laughs> like, should have had the Will Jada approach. We've talked about this before, how people don't talk about the, that shit before they do a marriage. There's just a lot of implications. And that implications will kill you. Happen. Yeah, that's, Especially like, if you're not on the same page. Just yeah. Uh, yeah, if you guys don't say, hey, we, I'm committed to this, I'm never going to cheat. Like, you base he basically agreed to that, but you without can see how the word. you get to that point without you guys ever having really discussed anything. And you know that's what happened. Or if you here. did discuss it, if he, he's not being honest about it, because niggas will tell you what you want to hear, and he look like a nigga that'll tell you what you want to hear. <laughs> so you think they had a prearrangement before they got married? I think if they tried to I have did. the conversation, Offset wouldn't have been like, "I got to fuck these hoes, baby." <laughs> you deal with that? I guess not. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think he could say that. I think he would be like, whatever you need to, I'll be yeah. with you and only you. I yeah. can imagine that. Yeah. I don't think yeah. she would. I think she. I mean, she was dedicated to the marriage. I don't think there's this like a super in love thing here, is there? Like, were they in love? I, I'm, I was thinking it was just a like a like, like I said a like a this is a, a career move. Yeah, uh, that's how I looked at it. But obviously, it's not if cheating was the reason that broke it off. Yeah. Unless it's a public cheating that, that broke it off. Yeah, yeah. They said it was that, cheating. That's, 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 that's the reason to ain't an agreement marriage. Like, that's the, the, like, you can't get caught or you can't cheat. You can't so get caught. Will be enough. If that was the clause. One of the two. Yeah. That's the two things. Like, you can't get caught and you can't cheat. If it's an image marriage, that's everything. You can mm-hmm. cheat, you can't get caught. If that's what, if, if it's the understanding that he got to do that's it. That's what I'm saying. You can't cheat or you can't get caught. It's one of the two. It's yeah. just like when they say that <laughs> yeah, yeah. abstinence is the best <laughs> way to prevent <laughs> pregnancy. It's the same thing. If you don't cheat, then you can't get caught cheating. If yeah. you cheat, you just can't get caught cheating. And that's 
you know, that, uh, so those two, per, uh, what's the word, parameters. Yeah. That's a, that would be really it. I think that would be the bare minimum for like a Hollywood. Because I feel, you know, I feel like a chick like Cardi, again, I don't know her, off the image for what she portrays. If you coming out her with a real mouthpiece, you could be able to get her to understand that when I'm out here and I'm gone for months, I'm gonna have other, I'm gonna have other girls. That's just what it is. Mm-hmm. I feel like she, you could give her that mouthpiece in that way where she can understand you, if she really fucking with you. Is she really fuck? Is she really fucking with you? That's if she if, really fucking if, with you. He or if. Mm-hmm. There I was a video. Like each other and got married. Was, there was a video on World Star. Uh, and cheating was uh, enough. Offset was, I don't know if he was playing a game, but he was on online or something. And Cardi B walked in in the house and he had his phone out, tucked his phone, tucked his phone in his pocket real quick. And so they they ran with that saying, oh, this nigga over here texting females. In. They out off him tucking his phone up, though, looking over his shoulder. Oh, Cardi here, let me go ahead and put my phone up. <laughs> phone reactions is a telltale sign. <laughs> Come on, you look hella guilty, bro. You cheating niggas better get uh <laughs> get hit with the with the phone reactions. Yeah. You can't see her and react. You got to be better than that. <laughs> but you know, you can't be a black man doing it. Black men don't cheat. It just don't happen that way. Black men don't so cheat. Migos, so the dude from Migos didn't cheat. He a black boy. He a boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for that. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, and how much immaturity. How much do you think this was a uh, publicity stunt as far as them getting married and they take their career taking off? The marriage, I think, had, had a lot to do with publicity. Mm. I, well, maybe they, like you said, cared about each other, but the move was for this. Oh, yeah. There was definitely thought. That was definitely a thought going into it. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, this, the cheating thing, I think is a result of, of him, like I said, you got to fuck these hoes. And he can control that. that in them, but he couldn't control that. Mm-hmm. Doing his thing. He a rapper. He a rapper going on tour making. But a rock a star mentality. Rock star mentality. You got two other niggas with you, Quavo. Might as well be an NBA player. They say these NBA players ain't, f- ain't faithful either. I just assume all of them cheat. Man, that's oh, I seen yeah. the chick. Remember the Trey Song shit we talked about a couple yeah. weeks ago? Selena something rather. She talking about she met up with a, what's the oh, dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kelly, Kelly Obre or something like that. Flew the home, the home girl out there. They out there yeah. Yeah. doing their thing. Oh, yeah. old dude from the Houston, uh, Houston uh, Rockets brought a female. I don't know if he brought a female in his room, but he has someone in One of the home. testers. Oh, One yeah. of the test, the COVID testers. Oh, yeah, got up in there, I mean, got it, in there. Huh? Yeah, he said, "Come to the room. If I got a test. Bubble, I need to take." That, that should be fine. She already in the bubble. If she, if he brings somebody outside the bubble coming in, that's different. but well, it depends. Does she, is she, does she stay in the bubble? Does she come for work? I would think like, she'll stay if she texts the motherfuckers. Right? You, you in the bubble? You can fuck in the bubble, right? It's, it's okay. They got apparently it's not a bubble. You can't an unauthorized you person the in the room. If it's a bubble, that that implies that. At least but who told her? I'm thinking she must not have been there the whole time. Somebody, had, somebody saw something. Equipment manager, a referee, somebody. Ain't get none. Like Danny Green. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what we're going to do. That nigga d showed up to the bubble yeah. real quick and got the snitching. <laughs> oh, let's do it. You thought she in over there in the bubble too? That's crazy. Yeah, with the snitch fingers. <laughs> Tattletales. <laughs> yeah, that, that, she, had, she had to be leaving the bubble. Like, if she was there, I don't see it could be an issue. But she had to be back and forth or something. Mm-hmm. Had yeah. to be. So, that my next question that. is, does Offset find a better female than Cardi? As far as looks and whatever else. Looks? Cardi ain't that bad. As looks, show, as yeah. As looks go. You can find one. You will he? I don't know. Family. You can find one. I think you will. Do you find one with as much uh, status no. as her? Probably nah. Not. He burnt not, that not right now. Hell no. He burnt. I don't think ever again. No. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> ever again. He might not be. He might realize he can't handle that. Yeah, he can't. He I'll might need a lower broad he can run the game yeah. on. Because then again, he's not that number one nigga. Apparently, he's number three, according to you. He's not even top two, bro. Like, like, you know, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, bro. You got to, you got to, yeah, man, you got to figure something out, bro. I, I don't think that, that that divorce is a blow to, I mean, they're trying to p- uh, pump Cardi up like she kind of spokesperson for the culture, but. I, I don't think that hurts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nobody cares. The yeah, I don't think that has an impact on culture I as we look care. when we look back. It won't be like if I don't know who's a prominent if Jay Z and Beyonce broke up. You know, not a not a. Everybody would want to know not why. a thing. That would be why, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. If they if they broke up, we'd be talking about that for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> even if Will and Jada called it quiz, you're like after the whole entanglement, even now you want to call it? I think mm-hmm. that would even have more mm-hmm. impact. Mm-hmm. Cardi and Cardi and all said it was like, yeah, we figured. We well, figured. Uh, I guess the, <clears throat> yeah, talk this to will me. you know punch off the space talk, but like uh, Venus, they found a gas in the atmosphere of Venus that only exists in biological situations. So they can't. They ran simulations on how you could would be able to produce this gas, and none of them work outside of a natural environment. Now we don't know what the hell is going on on Venus. Yeah, I mean biology that can be like here. Right? The, all all signs, and this is the first time you can like definitively say this. But all signs point to us having to say that that's that's uh, comes from you know a life, some kind of life you know some mm. kind of life form or something and they talk about how uh the it might be like something that that is lit, surviving in the atmosphere of venus because the atmosphere is cool so not on not yeah. land so it's like it's so it's like cellular it's like it's like yeah cellular. i was gonna say so no we talking about biological that could be many different yeah, like like yeah, yeah. like it's microscopic yeah shit. so but it's mitochondria like, so, and stuff you know but it's big because that's just if that's a it's a step. That's true. That's life. That's yeah. That's definitely life. Like right next to us, mm. in that we had nothing to do with. So it, it begs. So is this a a discovery of now having access or new development? Like, do we have like? Is it we know this now because we finally were able to see Venus, or did Venus have something happen recently that created these elements for life form? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. That was not speculated, so I don't know if they saying that they've always found it but i would think i would think if they've been observing venus more than once because this isn't like a craft that went to venus this is just what we've been like satellite what we've been like what they pick up from i don't even know how they do that yeah but uh they do that with like like other star systems other planets that they find on star systems Mm. and whatever they can tell how far away it is from that sun i'm like how how can you tell Yeah, because they found a, a similar planet to earth like with all the whole makeup and everything yeah, there are five. There are like five Earth-like planets. Yeah, yeah. There's like five ah. Earth-like planets out of yeah, out of like four thousand. But mm-hmm. like that's the numbers. Five the planets out of how many? <laughs> four thousand discovered. Four thousand known exoplanets planets that are not of the solar system. He was like out of four thousand out of like Earth. five Earth-like planets that are in the right position for Earth. Now we don't have pictures of planets <laughs> that could have I, I, I believe him i've heard it before that could have conditions similar to There's earth five earth like planets that could so that you tell me this other niggas out here doing podcasts and showing other planets not not 100 percent what he that said not what i said <laughs> that could be maybe yeah we don't know could be i mean i yeah. thought it was gonna call you a lie he was yeah, like, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm gonna drop this one. yeah man yeah but I, I, think, I think there's i think there's other life you think there's other life more I think there is. Yeah, I think there is for sure. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah no, five is. Earth-like planets, not five inhabited planets, just five yeah. Earth-like, Earth-like planets that have. Okay, that what have, do you mean by Earth-like? It means that it has all the the right conditions to be like the, the certain sun. type of sun that's in the solar system, like the water and oxygen. Well, I don't even know. Oxygen, it could just be a developed like, planet. It could yeah. have like water and yeah, and oxygen mm-hmm. and maybe plant life or something like something that. Like, like conditions. We don't know similar. what they look like, so it's just what the plant now if it has. And well, here's the thing that if that's if we find a planet that's like us, every chance that if it's anywhere along our development, you're gonna find like anywhere anywhere from like primitive life to at like least you know, homo up, sapien, straight up, straight <laughs> yeah. up same, you know, uh, same as us type of stuff. Maybe green. But if, yeah, if you find a planet that we find habitable, like we go there, it's probably already gonna be something there. Habiting that's the it. Whole thing. <laughs> yeah, like it's. Like if you go there, it's already developed. Like that's the whole thing. That's like finding I don't know, uh, like a, like an oasis. Like it just ha- it's gonna have all the same bio makeup. Mm. We're talking about habitable planets. So like yeah, there's some implications there. But right now, all it is is there's five Earth-like planets. But uh, to to say that like even from there, they can kind of tell like how hot the sun burns or like that like all the random facts. I'll be like, how the hell do they do, do you it? know that? Yeah. But they, I think they get it from like I, I can't remember. I can't remember. It's got to be satellite to feedback. But the crazy, yeah. but yeah, that's just the crazy. It's Light just speech, the, yeah. it's just how like when you if you look, you know, look, watch that kind of stuff that 
that uh, just the, the odds, like the odds that there's one more Earth out there are Crazy. huge. Well, this yeah, is this huge. is putting like the odds, odds huge, into you know? our very own solar system with the Mars oh, stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. so nobody's ever been to Venus, right? I, I said Mars, no, but Venus. Um, I believe like there have been like I think like have we gotten a rover? I think the Russians have like dropped a something down that like went down to Venus. It didn't survive very long, mm. but like it got footage and stuff and sent it back and mm. all that. I did, and this is uh, this was old. I have to. I watched it, but. Um, yeah, man. So there, I mean, you Interesting. know, but I don't think there've been too many things like that. Because there's always been, you know, the, the Mars talks, people surviving in Mars and mm -hmm. people surviving on the moon mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. That's just opening doors for all that kind of stuff, man, right in our own back door or front well, door. Well, a warp drive is like a, uh, like a real science now, not like somebody got a warp drive, but like it's applicable. Yeah, I think you talked about it on the, the first yeah. episode, right? Did I? I want to say we talked about did that. I, did I bring that up? I think so. Hmm. Well, you and uh, Sherman uh, battled on it a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. If it was possible. But yeah. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, it, like we getting those discussions are happening and the plausibility, like, even 20, 30 years ago, that would have been just straight up hogwash, right? A straight up storyline for your yeah. sci fi movie. Yeah. Yeah. Like, nobody would be like, man, get out of here. That's, that's movie shit. So but no, other, I don't even know if we're ready for them kind of answers. What you say? Is there other human beings out there that look like us? Can we call them human? So they, they wouldn't be human. Yeah, they would. They would be different. In I mean, some if it's Earth-like Earth uh, planets, they gotta be called humans, right? What if what if they exposed to a certain gas that make them green or something? Yeah. No, well, they're. Green. They don't have a different biological makeup, but if he's talking about like something that basically looks like us, walk like us, talk like humanoid, walk it, walk it, walk it, okay, offset. Talking like that, we're all gonna sound like Offset. And Cardi, oh, correct. We walk around. We found our people. Know where they came from? Oh shit. Yeah, but so that y'all believe aliens, huh? You believe you you all y'all believe in aliens? I totally do. I think it's do arrogant you believe that to. they've been here. Do you guys know about the Commander Fravor footage? Y'all don't know about? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's on. It was like on CNN. Right, last last year, I heard that uh, they that CIA had released released some stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, like saying that alien shit was real. You know? Yeah. yeah. So the pilot talks to Joe Rogan about it, and he tells what his happened. experience. Yeah. yeah, I see the many army people talking about there was a crab, like people they're stationed out on the ocean for sure, Navy mm -hmm. and all that stuff coming out yeah, of the, uh, the water, and they've like <clears throat> in disbelief, like what? opening up and a crab coming out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, they, and you know they they get they get it poo pooed with the oh you out there on sea you delusional and all that stuff. That's what they they get hit with. Damn, that's crazy. How much do you believe that to be true though? I, I wouldn't be. I don't uh, uh, you know what? I, I I believe it. I would believe it. I feel like my uh, I believe there are things in the ocean we haven't found. Ocean yeah. damn near scarier yeah. than space because it's here. Yeah, yeah. we don't even just have, as undiscoverable. Have, that's why we're not ready. We don't even have our ocean down pat. Yeah, <laughs> we can't. Couldn't, go couldn't hand, I couldn't handle if they was like, oh yeah, aliens been here the whole time giving us all this. The, the iPhone, alien, bro. Like, I couldn't handle. <laughs> it. I think everybody would break down eventually. I think I would be like, mm, oh look, aliens are real, but then I'd be like. What the fuck is going yeah. on? Yeah. Like, yeah, it would be, yeah, I'd be definitely freaking out over that. I don't know if I can. I'm not going to say I couldn't handle it. I think I would handle it, but it'd be really hard. I'll say it'd take me a while to handle it. I'll say it that way. You're right. Like, you I would know. have to handle it. I ain't going to kill myself. Yeah. It would be handled. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be. But there would be people like that, though. That's the problem. There would be people like that. I can't handle that shit. Yeah, I would handle see it. see an alien and, and snap. A lot, though. Yeah. It's a lot. What about the mole people? Y'all believe in the mole people? The, what the fuck is that? People that live under the no. crust of the, uh, of the earth. Stop. 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 We went from plausible to naked mole people. They ain't got to be naked. No. <laughs> no, mole people, really? Eh, I don't Is that a them. thing? It's a that thing? conspiracy. Bigfoot? Mm, I'm not a big I believe, Bigfoot I believe, guy. I Loch Ness? You believe, I believe in Bigfoot? Bigfoot. Hell yeah. I believe you believe Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Yeah. Hell yeah, he out there somewhere. You alive? <laughs> <laughs> 
So you Loch Ness then too. <clears throat> this nigga believe in Godzilla as well. Loch Ness, I don't believe in Loch Ness. He believe in the Green Ranger's power sword too. <laughs> 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 Green Ranger's power sword. Too. <laughs> I believe in Bigfoot and Loch Ness monster man. They out there for sure. Like you said, in the ocean, man. That ocean, <laughs> ocean yet. You might <laughs> tell me on Atlantis. There's a Loch Ness monster out there somewhere, bro. There gotta be. There's something in the ocean. I don't know if it's a Loch Ness monster, but there's definitely something in the something ocean. Something in there. Something, something in there. A group. Definitely of something. Like in there. there's probably more more than one of them. Probably prehistoric <laughs> stuff in there, bro. Yeah, <laughs> dinosaurs, whole big oh, ass gosh, dinosaurs down there. Found out, yeah, I man. mean, y'all know, like uh, like uh, turtles live to be like over hundreds, right? 100, yeah. yeah, hundreds of years old. Uh, you got like uh, immortal life forms like on Earth. I believe there's a jellyfish that just uh, is. Uh, Ages and then unages and ages and unages and ages. A jellyfish. What's it called? What's the name of the jellyfish? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the ages. I don't. You alive, you man? You alive too? I'm gonna go in on this. <laughs> okay. Lie, man. I ain't never. What kind of jellyfish is it? <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, man, how you gonna find this out? <laughs> yeah, what? I was curious too. Like, what is an immortal jellyfish? Okay, Tour <laughs> Dorani, also known as the immortal jellyfish, is a species of small biologically immortal immortal jellyfish found worldwide in temperate to tropic waters. You want me to go over more of it? What's it called? Yeah, tempora. Immortal. That's what it's called. The immortal jellyfish. This was called to, to, uh, the Latin name Turritopsis dornii. I think I don't know if that's the Latin name, but it looks like that's what it is. Turritopsis translucent, neon blue, a neon blue jellyfish. The immortal. Immortal. How, how do they reproduce if they're immortal? Which means it doesn't die. So they reproduce and they're immortal. And it doesn't die unless you kill it. But right. it's immortal. It can't die. Yeah, immortal, right? I mean, if I cut it in half, it's gonna die. Right? It's biologically immortal. Yeah, it's not. It's not indestructible. Yeah, it's biologically immortal. Mm. So it can, be, so it can no, be no, killed. No. So have I proven it? Have I both of y'all now? Y'all gotta. Y'all gotta do, do something. something. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take another shot for you. Okay, fine. <laughs> what you, what, Brian, what you want me to do, man? I got, I got. What you, you want take me? a shot. You can take a shot. Go ahead and take the okay. shot with Chris. <clears throat> Immortal jellyfish, huh? I never yeah. heard that ever. So how come we ain't studying these? I'm sure somebody probably is. Like, yeah, only one person can only do so much. You know, they're not. We're not dedicating. This is our problem. We should be de dedicating our time and shit like this. But we that's that. That seemed like all kind of research need to be in this we village. Should, yeah, Jellyfish. we still got people. Uh, we still got people. You know, don't believe the world is round. So, man, we take a step backwards, Shit. brother. Drinking dark today. Mm. Now, well, yeah. Well, good. It's smoother than the vodka, man. Ah. That's a Jim B. It's a Jim B. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's it's good. It's smooth. It's it's smoother I, than I, I than the vodka. There's less burn on, dark, dark on the shot too. Oh, well, dark shit, you drink Smirnoff, nigga. Smirnoff is, yeah. It's, this could be better Smirnoff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We don't we don't even got to talk about them. It, it, it goes terrible. it goes Smirnoff, Sky, then lighter fluid. It's just like <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> basically the same. <laughs> Everclear, yeah. one hundred. Everclear, that sounds familiar. Everclear, that shit is nah. yeah. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. not it. <laughs> no, no. That sound like you, college you days. drinking that for one reason. That shit is not the business, bro. <laughs> At all, man. At all, man. All right, man. This will be another episode. Is you a lie? You a lie? It's on Buzzsprout. We got the mm -hmm. iTunes cracking off, man. We got the Amazon, man. We got a mm -hmm. make a uh, uh, Instagram page, Facebook. We're gonna and get, we got We're gonna jump on it. Are y'all been listening? Y'all been uh, rocking with us? That's true. Yeah, we yeah, been getting, listening. Getting more we time appreciate y'all. We really do. Speak with us. To like, subscribe. We're gonna be there. If you got any uh, questions that you want to uh, hit us up on, comments. Mm -hmm. Anything you want uh, us to touch on? The ULI 661 at gmail. Mm -hmm. At gmail.com. We, we, we there, man. Um, this, this is Maury. Chris. Brian. And this is ULI. Another episode is ULI. Yes, sir.